the tees, right? Are you doing the tees or no? Okay. First, there was a concept, it was a dream. Then, construction became a reality. Today the stage is set and Red Bull Arena is open for soccer. A state of the art soccer specific cathedral. Let the match begin. Welcome to Harrison, New Jersey, on the banks of the Pacific River, where the rich history of soccer dates back to the 1800s amidst Scottish immigrants. Now a gleaming silver structure stands as the home of the New York Red Bulls as fans from across the globe celebrate the new Red Bull Arena. They come via the Newark Trolley and it also brings them the New York Red Bulls players as we celebrate a grand moment. Senator Robert Menendez, Olympic gold medalist Lindsey Vaughn and Super Bowl champion Reggie Bush all on hand for the christening of Red Bull Arena. Welcome inside, and if you are a fan of any sport across the globe, you should agree. This facility is spectacular. The stage is set. After a decade in the making and $200 million to build, Red Bull Arena sets the standard for all soccer venues across the continent. Hello everybody, I'm Tina Servacio, and welcome to the opening of Red Bull Arena. Today, the New York Red Bulls take on Brazil's Santos FC. And two years ago, I stood right about here on top of a pile of rubble and dirt. Tonight, it is Kentucky Bluegrass, and soccer will be played. Let's show you some of the details that are inside this magnificent arena. Now, the seating capacity is 25,000, and it is sold out for this evening. There are 30 skyboxes with 12 seats each, two party decks, three stadium clubs, plenty of retail shops, and over 300 video flat screen panels throughout the arena for event viewing. But you know what else happens here? Soccer is going to be played. We have a match set for all to enjoy. So to talk about the game, we send it to the broadcast booth to the gentleman that will have the call of the first game to be played here at Red Bull Arena. JB Telecamera and Shep Messing. Thank you, Tina. It's an honor for me tonight to call this first game, filling in for Steve Cangelosi. Sorry, he couldn't be here tonight. He's got a Devils game at the Rock, but I think if Steve were here, he'd be talking about what a magnificent stadium this truly is. I don't think there's any question about it. All the adjectives used to describe Red Bull Arena, they're accurate. But most importantly, this arena was built by soccer people. It was built for a soccer team, and it was built for the enjoyment of soccer fans. The thing that I love about this stadium, and right now it looks like the best in Major League Soccer, is how close the fans will be to the game itself. 21 feet away from the sidelines, and they're right on top of the goalkeeper. I don't think there's any question, this is an arena that's futuristic, it's elegant, but the ambiance is for the soccer fans. It will be the crowning jewel 
of arenas for Major League Soccer. I just came back from a game at the Amsterdam Arena. I like this place better. You've been to many European stadiums. That's what it feels like. I don't think there's any question. It's the feeling, the sense that it's all about soccer for the team when they step foot on the field, for the fans as they come into the arena. It's absolutely electric. Imagine playing here on this Kentucky Bluegrass. Let's talk to the players, find out their thoughts. This is like being in Europe. This is a very European style of stadium. Uh, it's just uh, phenomenal. I mean, there's nothing like it in this country. And, and that, first of all, shows the commitment of Red Bull you know, with the sport uh, in here. And, and I hope and I believe that is going to change the perspective of uh, the game in this region. Uh, because there's nothing like it. Being from the area, growing up on Long Island, playing for the Metro Stars from 98 to 2002, being promised a stadium, uh, always thinking we're going to get one, only to be told no, not yet. Uh, it's like a, 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 the best I could describe it is like my five-year-old on Christmas morning. Every year he asks for something and of course he gets it and just the, the joy in his face is how I feel right now. It's, it's indescribable. It's, it's kind of like, wow, it's here. You know, you've been hearing about it a couple of years and uh, I mean, what an opportunity. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, the stadium is, uh, you know, going to be the best soccer stadium in the country. And uh, we're excited and, um, you know, just to, to have this close to home uh, in this community and to have family and friends come here and, and, and watch us play is just a, a dream come true. Just walking outside was pretty amazing. Uh, you know, seeing all the, the seats ready to be taken and uh, seeing the grass on the, on the ground was, was nice. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time coming and uh, I'm glad that Rebel was able to step up and do that all, all that it took to, to get it done because uh, I'm really excited to play in it. It's unbelievable, you know. Playing since I got drafted, I've been playing in Giant Stadium. I love that place, but this is just unbelievable. In the practice, everybody was just like looking, man, imagine what it's going to be like on Saturday. Imagine this, imagine that. But it was even focused. It's finally coming to a reality. Um, and I think that the biggest thing for me is that it's going to be, it's our home now. And, and hopefully uh, we can make it a really tough place for uh, opponents to come in and play at. So, you know, my thoughts are it's just, we've been waiting for it for a long time. And, it, and it's finally here and we can't be more excited. I've been giving tours here um, to some of the fans during, for my foundation. So I've got, kind of gotten to see the process over the last like month and a half as they finish up all the small details but uh, you know now that everything's in line it looks great and uh, I'm excited to get this place full on Saturday. My first impression was it was a proper football stadium, soccer stadium, um, fantastic. Um, you know, it's where you want to play football. Um, and you could see the lads, the lads' eyes were looking around and with excitement and you know, it's, it's going to be a promising season ahead. You know, you get tingles up your spine and uh, especially looking up into, into the stands and, and picturing, you know, maybe 25,000 people out there, which uh, is what it looks like it's going to be for the first couple of games. Is uh, yeah, that, that really puts it into perspective and it's amazing. It's like waking up in your own home and saying, you know, it feels good to be home. You know, that sentence people say, it feels good to be home. Uh, I think it's the same feeling because, you know, the grass was nice, everything was beautiful. Just walking, you know, you feel that, uh, that rush inside you. Well, the players have the stadium that they wanted. Now, Shep, how do they make it a real home field advantage? Well, that is the key question, and Red Bull ownership has dedicated the resources to the senior management, to Red Bull Arena. Now the players have to surge. They have to feed off the energy, the ambiance of the crowd. They have to defend their home turf. Tina, it's unanimous. Players and broadcasters alike can't wait for the first kick in the stadium. And this will be the final exhibition game of the Red Bulls preseason. When we come back, I'll look at the 2010 Red Bulls and what to expect this MLS season as fans celebrate outside of Red Bull Arena. This is a new age for Red Bull New York. We're coming right back. Are you able to hear us? Hey, Eddie, are you able to hear us? Okay. When, when, I tell, when I say to Shep about, you know, it started at the top, a new head coach, new sporting director, right? Yeah, as he's talking, can, then you, can you put that graphic in about who's new and who's gone? Okay. Okay, that, that's good. All right, and then I'll get his... Oh, okay, so no comments here at 19, right? No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. 
So Eddie, is 19 out or 21 out? Okay. 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 